Hey guys, today we're going to go over a modern deck tech, Amulet Bloom. Amulet Bloom is not currently a tier 1 deck. It is a deck that combos off extremely fast. It actually can combo off turn 1, but it is pretty fragile when you can compare it to something like Splinter Twin, where the cards are decent by themselves. So Amulet Bloom revolves around Amulet of Vigor, Summer Bloom, and Prime Time. Prime Time is one of the win conditions. You can also play a combo, Hive Mind combo, but I'm not going to talk about that particular deck. I'm just going to talk about the deck that is all in for this combo. Essentially, you're going to play a Bounce Land, and that Bounce Land is going to come and play untapped and produce two. And Summer Bloom will allow you to play Prime Time on turn one, or Hive Mind if you want, and then you can pack from the gate, and there you go for the win. Uh, some cards that you should know about is Tolarian West will get you different lands. Uh, Slayer Stronghold will essentially give you a attacking creature that can do a lot of damage. And Boros Garrison is one that's one of the lands that come and play untapped after the Amulet of Vigor, and it'll produce two for you. As well as some home. And you have a very unique set of lands, and that's what kind of makes this deck fun, at least from my point of view, is you can test different lands. Now, Summer Bloom is the most important part of this deck, because with an Amulet of Vigor and a Summer Bloom, you just go off. There's so many win mechanisms. Uh, you can go off with Hive Mind and a pack, a pack of Summoning, the green pack, or a pack of Negation. Either one will work. Or Primeval Titan, you just get so far ahead on the board state, that they can't really recover. Now, the Slayer Stronghold in Boros, Boros Garrison will produce faster guys for you. Tolaring West is in Simic Chamber will allow you to transmute, which is important. The Kessic Wolf Run and Groof Rule Turf will give you much bigger guys to finish. And if one of those guys has Trample like Primetime does, then you can win the game. And then you can also play the Hideaway Lands with Primeval Titan underneath one of them, hopefully. So the whole deck is in Insane. The deck is just absolutely insane. Uh, it is a fun deck to play with. Uh, there's many ways to look at it. I'm building one right now and I'm going to post the deck tech once it's completely built. Again, it's, it's just a fun deck because you can play all these different lands that you normally wouldn't have a home to play with. I actually play flags of something and it destroys itself and then I get more lands and it's actually kind of fun. Uh, bye guys.